Hello again, Sibelius users of YouTube. Today we're going to talk about how to hide a key cautionary key change when you are creating multiple movements with different keys in the same Sibelius document. So, I have my uh, two movements separated here with a page break. If you want more details about this, I'll leave a link in one of my other for one of my other videos about uh, this topic, creating multiple movements in one score, in the description. So we have uh, these two movements separated. We're going to go ahead and add our key. Uh, let's go to something crazy. Let's go for C flat major. Boom. All right. So you can see that there's this really hideous cautionary uh, break that adds this whole other section of bar that I really don't want before my new movement. And, oh, you know, let me add a time signature real quick to this. Uh, we'll just do, go with 4-4. Four, four. Oh, hold on. And if you get a cautionary time signature, too, let's, this is also a good thing to talk about. So uh, in order to get rid of that, you're going to go to time signature or just click the T key, more options, and uh, we're going to just do 4-4, four, four, and we're not going to select the allow cautionary. And that will get rid of your cautionary 4-4. Four, four. So in order to get rid of this cautionary key signature, well, first what we're going to do, we're going to uh, hide this. You can uh, do that by right-clicking and uh, going to Hide or Show. And I've adjusted my uh, shortcut to Shift-Command-H, but it could be just Command-H on your system. So I'm going to go and hide all of these. And then I am going to... Uh, actually, I'm going to move this key signature over so I can delete this double bar. And then I'm going to add a final bar from the Notations tab. So bar line, final. And then I'm going to scrooge this over all the way over here so it's just kind of out of the way and doesn't affect playback or anything like that. And so there we have our new key signature and time signature for our next movement. Hope this has been very helpful. Thanks for all the comments um, and subscriptions. If you want to know anything else or if you have any questions, uh, let me know. Have a great day and keep composing that awesome music.